What's cracking, everybody? Zerfell Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle content in this video. We're going to be taking a look at some great teams that you can run in the Great League before it comes in for the last time for the season here, as the rotation will be happening today if you're watching this when this video releases. So, we have here in front of us the training analysis page for the Great League meta. I assume it will be updated again at some point during the middle or the beginning of the rotation as PV Poke is usually pretty on top of this kind of stuff. But from our last iteration of the Great League, Dugong is one of the top things in this meta as far as individual performance. And what that means is it basically puts in the most work, does the most damage, gets the most shields, etc. It's just, it's been, it's one of the most powerful Pokemon you can run in the Great League. And here's why, because it has extremely good play. Into the team you see in front of you here, the Whiskash, Skarmory Core, and Gligar being in the back too. I mean, that's just, th and that's going to be our first team that we look at. Now, before we get into the team though, this is a uh, place that you can go to just check, you know, for team ideas or maybe what, what Pokemon is performing really well right now. And this is a good place for anyone to go if they're trying, just kind of stuck and not sure what to run. Lots of good team suggestions here from people who have been training their own teams and playing against the CPU on PV Poke. So come check this page out. It's up in the train, the training section here. You go to top performers, and then you go over here to the no, it is top performers. You just I'm used to going the other way. So just go straight to top performers. It'll take you straight to the page. You can pick your league. It's also Ultra League and Master League and uh, maybe there's uh, his Sui cup probably just hasn't been taken off yet but that's where you can find this information so let's jump into the first team here which is Whiskash, Gligar, and Skarmory this is probably the most played if not one of the strongest teams because obviously the newly buffed Whiskash with Scald and Skarmory with Steel Wing are two very dominant Pokemon and they cover each other's weaknesses almost perfectly and they're just very very strong and I've come really come around on Skarmory and its ability to act as a closer in this meta just having that Steel Wing farm ability and then having the ability to go for Brave Bird and Sky it's just the damage that it can put out really helps it in, in any meta I mean, you can even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bastidon. And how ridiculous would you think that would be if I said that Skarmory and Bastidon could go almost toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another a few seasons ago? Y'all call me crazy. But um, typically, I think Gligar is going to be your safe swap here, and Whiskash is Shadow in this particular team, but you could run the Gligar Shadow and the Whiskash non-Shadow. You could run both non-Shadow, both Shadow. You could even substitute um, Whiskash if you don't have one for, like, Swampert, Quagsire, or you could uh, sub out one of the two back Pokemon for any flyer of your choice, really. Um, especially the... Uh, Especially the Gligar, if you're not sure about running double ground, you know, in the front and back. You could, like, put Skarmory, or, or not Skarmory, uh, Mandibuzz or something in there also. A really, really good flyer. Mantine also might work out for you. Um, but this team is really, really strong. Has play into pretty much the entire meta that is actually, like, being used. But, like I said here, Dugong highlighted as one of the strongest Pokemon in this meta at the moment because it has so much play into this team. And that's why I like it so much. But another one to really look at here is Jellicent, which we're going to take a look at in a minute here. Uh, but Jellicent also another really solid core breaker for this team uh, if you're trying to play against this team. But if you're trying to play this team specifically, again, really, really strong team here. Can't really recommend this kind of team enough. Like, it's just so dynamic and has so much play into so many things between Whiskash and Gligar. And then Skarmory, again, just having that closing power is intense. So let's get into the next team here. We'll take a look at what we've got down here. And as I was talking about, so Jellicent. I do believe this is Caleb Peng's team. Um, I, at least from I heard about it. I haven't really been one to watch the YouTube videos lately just because I've personally been really, really busy at work and haven't really had time to, to watch a whole lot of the YouTube uh, community stuff. But I did catch wind of this team um, from, I think, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was Caleb Peng who made this video. And it would make sense because it's a Bastidon on the thing. So if that if that, <laughs> if that isn't the signature Pokemon, then that, I don't know whose team this would have been. So... Uh, but Jellicent, again, really good core breaker, really able to catch those teams off guard. And then Bastidon and Lickitung are just such solid Pokemon, especially Lickitung on that safe swap, being able to draw out a potential fighter like an Annihilate or, you know, if somebody's still running Metacham. And, uh, to uh, oh my goodness. Toxicroak was going to come out of my mouth, but I was thinking about Polyrath, but I guess both of them technically work. And then Jellicent can really dispatch of the fighters. And even if you end up, you know, you're not going to lure out a Whiskash, right? You might lure out like a Skarmory, right? So, so stuff that 
And I wouldn't really call Skarmory something that makes Bastion sweat, but you kind of get the point here. Lickitung is going to draw out the counters to Bastion. Jellicent usually going to be able to handle taking out the rest of whatever Lickitung lures out. Or it could even flip switch in a bad matchup example. Uh, Lickitung is just that really, this is really that strong. Um, and the letter coverage is again, you, know, you don't really want to look at coverage. If you guys watch my, my video on team building, I'm pretty sure I mentioned like, try not to focus too much on the letter grades. You know, it's nice to see an A for bulk, an A for consistency, and, and safety is nice. But as far as coverage, especially in a meta as wide as Great League, you're never really going to get an A unless the team is completely balanced and has, you know, everything has coverage into something. But they, they, then you run the risk of them not really covering each other, right? So things that we want to worry about with this team, a Reggie Steel would be incredibly awkward for this team. Probably could somehow try to finagle a win out of that, but... Opposing Bastidons are also kind of difficult. I don't know how Bastidon. I think out, Basti just might out bulk the, the Jellicent, to be honest. That's a bit of a weird one to me. Um, but aside from the Reggie Steel, right? Like, you're not going to see a whole lot of Chestnut Scrafty. You might see some Greedon. But, like, the rest of this list here, you're not seeing a whole lot of it. Lantern isn't really an issue. I mean, it's, it's kind of an issue. But, like, if you, you these things that show up as core breakers, I can definitely see this team having the ability to play around it. So this is actually a really strong team from one of the strongest players in the world. And I think that if you have the Pokemon for it, it's worth giving a try. So let's jump into the next team here and take a look. Okay, our next team here, we are going to have the Annihilate Skarmory Lickitung. I know I'm bringing up, I usually try to bring up five teams that don't share the same Pokemon, but I gotta be honest, guys, Lickitung and Skarmory are just so dominant in the meta right now that it would be remiss of me not to bring this team up. This is the team that I played when uh, Annihilate first came out, and I figured that Skarmory was an extremely strong thing to cover it with because Annihilate struggles with, um, it, it struggles with, I guess, ghosts technically, which is what the Lickitung's there for, um, but it really also struggles with flyers and it struggles against um, fairies. Which this both Pokemon on this team in the back have really good play against the things that Annihilate is weak to. They just don't cover all of those weaknesses together. So if you were trying to, you know, for example, maybe double up on something else, you could try a different flyer or a different Pokemon that's in the back that maybe you could like run Lickitung and another anti ghost type, like maybe a dark type or something, but then you'd run the risk of being weak to charm, right? So that's why I went with this approach when I made this team was just to kind of soft cover most of the weaknesses to annihilate with the Pokemon in the back. Typically, you're going to use Lickitung in a bad lead on the save swap and try to use Skarmory to close the game out. But Annihilate is just so incredibly strong, so, so dominant into this meta right now because of its moveset and typing. It just has so much play and it would be a really really good pokemon to help you make that climb if you know if you have one that you can use which thankfully we had that event where almost everybody had the chance to get a manky so excuse me that was up unexpected anyway um so the annihilate's really strong here i like it a lot and i know that this team kind of shows up as aba weak to a few things and, and maybe even weak to other things like you know mandibuzz can beat the whole team but again, this is kind of stuff that I expect you, you you could possibly play around. Talonflame would definitely be awkward. I won't, I won't, I won't, um, won't sugarcoat that one at all. That one would be the most difficult one, I think, on the lead. Uh, Toxicroak probably only wins here because of the Shadow Ball. But if you're able to land, um, you know, a move that knocks down the Toxicroak, like Toxicroak's pretty squishy here. And everything else you have play into, right? Like Cresselia, honestly, doesn't really beat Lickitung unless they land that future site. And most of them probably are running Moonblast anyway. So there's that. Um, Skeleturge, though, I definitely think would be awkward for this team. And if you see like Lantern or some other hard answer in the lead that beats one of the two things, you kind of have to stay in and play it out. So the nice thing about this team, though, is that it's not necessarily ABB. In that you have to like a swap Lickitung immediately, but the nice thing about the Lickitung safe swap is it does typically end up drawing out a steel or something that uh, Skarmory just typically wouldn't want to deal with. So that being said, I think this team is a very, very strong meta team and could be good if you really enjoy playing Annihilate and just Skarmory. I just, again, dude, I cannot tell you enough about how much Skarmory has just become a dominant force in this meta, so... Getting into the next team, a little bit spicier here as we look at a team with the Giratina Origin. I still don't have one. I'm hoping to change that soon, but who knows? My luck may not be that great when I finally get the chance to trade the one that I'm hoping to get. So, <coughs> I found that Reggie Steel was a very strong core mate to Giratina Origin. 
And so in this team, we're using Sableye on the safe swap with return if it purified one to draw out things like charmers, dark types, you know, other things that, you know, your um, your Giratina might not necessarily appreciate. Also going to definitely draw out a Lickitung in the back if there is one. Definitely something that Giratina does not appreciate seeing. So on this team here, again, Registeel on the lead. We're going to take a look at it here. Lots and lots of coverage on the meta. Giratina Origin is a force in this meta that should be respected. It doesn't mean that it's going to be able to beat a lot of things, but having Shadow Claw, like Ghost Damage in general and having Shadow Claw is just such a good... Uh, move set typing to have even if it's all ghost types like you're not usually going to want to run dragon pulse just because it's that bad of a move like you'd, you'd be better off running the full ghost move set but the fact of the matter is is that it can it can have a lot of play into skarmory it beats you know things like whiskash lantern gonna have a, a tough time obviously against you know dark types fairies normal types those are the things that the sableye's here to draw and that's the thing that this, this registeel is meant to be able to beat so this team i feel like this team could do so i i, I would want to try this team like if i if i get a giratina origin you bet i'm playing this team because this one looks like a lot of fun and if you don't want to run the sableye safe swap maybe you just don't have one yet possibly um which is entirely fair right like xls aren't exactly the easiest thing to come across especially when sableye is typically featured in halloween you could put giratina on the lead and you could run something like Reggie Steel, and I would probably put something else in the back that beats all of those things, right? So you want to have something that beats the fairies, the um, fairies, the darks, and uh, the normals, right? So I, I'm off the top of my head, I'm trying to think of one, but I'm not going to sit here and, and bumble around trying to find it. But um, if you could find something that works on that safe swap, or you could use something to close, you know, maybe even a Zoomero would be a good one. You know, not necessarily having super strong coverage and all of those, but pretty consistent coverage. And you'd also have a really good answer to something like Gligar, which this team only beats by overwhelming with one of the two ghosts, really, because, you know, obviously Registeel doesn't do very well into Gligar. So, um, but yeah, I mean, considering the list of things that beats this team is incredibly small and it's like Como, o Diggersby, Litleo, like... This team actually looks legit to me, and I would love to try it if I had the Giratina. So let me know in the comments if you have a Giratina Origin or if you're lucky enough, and if you want to try this team, let me know how it goes. And let's talk about the final team on the video here. A team that you all have seen before if you've been following this channel, and if you haven't been following me for that long, I appreciate you being a recent follower. Welcome in. Uh, this is all going to be familiar to any of you who have been here for a couple of seasons or maybe have watched the videos that I've made of Skeleturge over the last couple of seasons. As this team brought me to Legend two seasons ago and is extremely strong since, you can definitely tweak the team a little bit, but I'm still, I love the Dugong, I love the Skeleturge, Superior maybe is on and off, like you have to basically hope it doesn't get landed on a Talonflame or a, uh, a um, you know, Oh, goodness. There. Skarmory, there. It was a Skeletor, and I'm like, wait, that's not right. But, I mean, that's technically true, too, right? But um, this team is super, super strong, in my opinion. It has a balanced feel to it, so you're not necessarily going to always want to just swap straight out and get to, you know, baiting things out. But this team works in a very strong manner. It is able to beat those Gligar's safe swaps in the back. You know, it, it really would only have to worry about getting rps like, from back to front. Uh, otherwise, this team has an incredibly strong amount of play. Um really doesn't have a whole lot of things that completely demolish it except for and unfortunately bastion is very difficult to play around it can be beat but it's difficult as is something um where is it like uh, uh carbink is the thing i'm thinking of carbink is incredibly difficult to get around as well just because if you're you can't land the superior on it and the dugong is you know not going to be able to last all those rock throws could become a little dicey, but everything else that this team loses to is fairly uncommon in this meta. I like this team a lot, and I actually have a couple of videos up on it too, so... Real quick before we end the video, and I appreciate you all who stayed around this long, I am doing a move timing group lesson on Metify. You can check the pinned comment description for a link to that to sign up for that. It's on February 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern, and if you can't make that time slot, that's okay. If you reserve yourself a seat and you pay for it, I will make sure that I send out the link to everyone who paid for a seat and maybe not was able to attend. And it just means you won't be able to make the live version, but you're going to get a recording of exactly what happened. You're not going to miss out on anything, I promise. And it's move timing is an incredibly important skill to be able to master in this game of Pokemon Go because it just really, it really takes you from, you know, 
okay at the game, and I don't mean this in a, in a rude way. It's like, it's just like move timing is one of those skills that once you master it, you're going to go from, you know, going, you know, 3 2, two, three to 4 1 and, and further. Like that, those, those move timing skills is what's going to take you to a whole nother level if you can work on mastering those. So, really highly recommend if you're not 100% on board with your your ability to use move timing it's a really really good skill to work on and get the information for so um also patreon discord and the uh the, the youtube memberships you can get access to my discord we're going to be going over the new season news next week as soon as it drops and also all of my information for the new season what to build what to walk for xls um what you want to be building for each cup as they announce it i'm going to put a whole list of all the things that you want to have ready for your cups and if you also get 25 percent off discount on all coach sessions with me as well if that's interesting so uh, a bunch of other perks check out the link in the pinned comment description and i'm going to stop shilling myself for five minutes because it's time to end this video so thank you all so much for watching we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye